So for 25 years, I've worked in uh, enterprise software. I started out as a sysadmin, and then became an application admin, and worked in services, and now I'm in pre-sales. And during that whole time, I, I, I kind of learned that the customer support rep is the glue between the, the customer with the problem and usually uh, engineering and um, who has a solution to the problem. And so their job's pretty important. And kind of my impression over the years of any particular enterprise software product was a function of how well that customer support rep communicated with me and set my expectations and, and solved my problem in a timely fashion. But uh, like this image suggests, you know, uh, engineering and, and sales and customer support reps are sometimes distracted from the customer needs. And I'd like to show you an example of a tool we could provide customer support reps to gain insight uh, easily and be more effective at their job, reduce the number of problems that customers file a case for and to close those cases when they are open as quickly as possible. So let's imagine now that we're uh, Rohit and Rohit just got in for the day and he wants to check up on his work. First of all, he notices that there's a number of support cases in Salesforce that are open here on the left. Um, on the right, however, you can also see a list of JIRA cases. Now all of these JIRA cases are engineering efforts from a, a different system. And these JIRA cases uh, indicate issues that may have related cases to them. And, and for the most serious uh, bug issues that result in S1 or S2 tickets, um, as a customer support rep, I'm, I'm utterly dependent upon the um, engineering team and how they do on these JIRA tickets. So I really need to monitor both of these. So this gives me some insight into what's being worked today uh, by everybody in the organization, uh, especially related to tasks that I'm responsible for. So that's pretty useful. But another thing I like to check is, is to take a look at my dashboard and, you know, I'm kind of curious about my performance. Uh, so I'm going to look at how I did on all my closed tickets, let's see, that's a little less than uh, 18 hours time to close. That's not too bad. And if I look at how I did last year, I'm down to 14 hours. That's pretty good for enterprise software. And, uh, you know, I'll be real interested in how I did specifically on S1s. And you can see I got that down to under half a day. That's, that's real good. And, and you know, I'd kind of like to review those cases to remind myself how these work. So I'm going to look at that list. So I want to remind everybody that I haven't really typed anything and I've only clicked two or three times. So now I'm looking at this list of Salesforce cases that I worked in the past year that were S1s and assigned to me. And I can see uh, a number of different tickets and I can filter them further with these facets here. I can also note that there's some uh, uh, social aspects. For example, I can, I can save uh, a result for uh, a, a search or a particular case for later reference. I can also give a case a like or a dislike to indicate whether or not it's useful to me now or would be useful as a reference for other customer support reps. You know, sometimes the title and body of it suggest it's a useful uh, ticket for reference, but when you go in, you realize it's a red herring and the customer just um, you know, uh, misset something and it has nothing to do with the title of the case. And in that case, I might give it a thumbs down, for example. And then that way other users know enough to avoid it. So I'm sort of encoding my tribal knowledge here very quickly so that I will benefit in the future as well as my coworkers. I can also take a look at the status of an account. So this single zone account has a number of open tickets you can see, and there's over 386 that, that, that they've opened in the past. And if I wanted to call somebody about it, I can see it's Susan Scoggins. So this, this kind of gives me some, an idea of account health from my perspective. Now, I'm gonna go back to a saved search here. 
And this one are cases that are specific to solar that happen to have a JIRA case open, meaning engineering is working a, a ticket right now or has in the past. So for example, this second case, I can see that engineering had to work this related JIRA issue in order to solve this problem, right? And you can see even the title is related, it has to do with multiple nodes in a shard. I can also see that there are other tickets associated with this account, and I can take a look at, at those. And finally, you'll note on the bottom that we're recommending other subject matter experts. I can also add comments to this object for my coworkers to review if necessary uh, to, to provide some helpful tips. Again, making it easy to share tribal knowledge in the place we work, even though we're bringing together multiple systems. Okay, now, like I said earlier, I'm kind of new to the organization and um, I had a query about um, uh, SQL JDBC and I didn't really even understand it, but I know there's a case related to it. So I, I know I'm gonna need to talk to uh, somebody in engineering about this one. So the first thing I do is just a simple search on this and uh, be advised this is the first time I've actually typed anything uh, on this demonstration. And uh, you can see by typing SQL JDBC, we filtered down to a little less than a thousand tickets. And if I want, I can look at only the tickets that have been modified in 2020 to see what's happening lately. And one of the things that jumps out at me, you know, I can look at all the cases and stuff and where they came from. But if I look on the left, I can also see that Joel Bernstein has authored and been assigned to a majority of these cases. That implies that he's the subject matter expert. And if I wanted to learn more about SQL JDBC or have some help with it, I'm pretty confident Joel Bernstein needs to see this issue. And I would wanna to talk to him about that. So that's all some very useful insight. And remember, since I began this demonstration, I've only typed one string, this SQL JDBC. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a new customer support rep and I really wanna learn a little bit more about other topics I've been seeing on and off, like a parallel bulk loader with that. So I wanna learn about that. Now, of course, I could just go to these um, automatically suggested uh, references in the documentation, but let me just run a search and see what's available. And I can see there's 20 docs in Lucidworks and there's about six in Solar, about Solar, but there's also 115 on our corporate wiki confluence. So I'm gonna limit uh, this to the detailed documentation on our corporate wiki. And I can see that this second one on Spark and PVL looks pretty uh, interesting. So I'm going to take a look at that one. And not only do I have a reference to our wiki, if I want to find out more about it, I'm going to bookmark it, but I also see that there's two subject matter experts or authors that are associated with this document. And if I contacted, if I clicked either of them, I can see a list of wiki articles that they authored. And, uh, um, you know, I could limit it to, for example, parallel bulk loader, but this gives me some more insight into who to talk, who again is the subject matter expert. Okay, now let's imagine, I'm going to shift gears here for a second. Let's imagine I'm more of a manager of this organization and I'm more interested in our performance overall. So I'm going to look at all of our tickets over time and you can see that it used to, it, it, on average, it took us three days to close the ticket out of these 16,000 tickets. That's a long time. And if I want to see how we did last year, I'm down to about 13 hours. So that's a dramatic improvement. That's good. Uh, I can also see, for example, that configuration and how to questions are the two primary reasons that tickets are opened. And again, superior documentation uh, and training would dramatically reduce this and therefore our case count would, could be a lot lower. Um, if I take a look at my S1s, I can see even those are often about configuration and or how-to questions rather than product bugs. There's only a small fraction that are product bugs. And out of those bugs, you can see 
that there's a small number of accounts that have those S1s, right? In this case, uh, three account for half of all of my S1s. And Philip Murray, Rotsing, Ray Abbott are the three people that are the most likely to work the S1 tickets. So that's useful, actionable information. For example, I know I need to enhance documentation and maybe I need to start distributing things away from Philip so I don't overwork him and lose him. And, um, um, but maybe there might be other reasons that he's most likely to work in S1. Uh, uh, that's it for uh, the, the live demonstration of this.